Hey everybody, it's Queen Jelly here, and welcome to, or welcome back to the Toy Box. Um, we are an adult collector that unboxes a variety of different dolls and toys. Um, and little tiny disclaimer before we get started. Um, if you guys have been watching any of my videos recently, um, I recently um, had to get some stuff done um, medically, and so I am now on um, medicine to help recover from that and um it's really really kicking my behind like I've been doing nothing but basically sleeping and I just want to be asleep right now um but I also really want to open these dolls <laughs> um so if I say anything weird or kind of zone out or anything like that honestly not that that's that different for me but at the same time like there may be a reason this time besides just my normal ADHD brain going haywire um but yeah, so today we have uh, Victoria Whitman of Series 5 Rainbow High and Jewel Ritchie of Series 4 Rainbow High. Um, I decided since when I did my original Series 2 unboxing of Shadow High, I also had a Series 1 Shadow High doll um, and kind of compared them together as I unboxed. Um, so I thought since I had this opportunity, I might as well do it and it gets two birds with one stone. Um, so... Uh, again, if you guys have, been, have watched some of my other videos, you may know um, how struggle bust I was to find Jewel Richie. Um, I found the only, well, one of only two left in my entire, like, hour radius. Like, I literally drove in an hour in every direction, going to every Walmart and Target trying to find her. And I found her and one other one. And the other one, her entire, like, hairline had all, like, bled out and was just, like, green everywhere. So... The only good Jewel Richie in like an hour radius in all directions from me, I found her. I did have to pay a full price for her at Walmart, even though they were on sale at Target, but of course that's why there was none. And honestly, I hadn't really seen much of Series 4 since Christmas, um, but so yeah, there she is. Um, real quick, barcode, um, and then Victoria Whitman, I did order on um, Amazon because in doing all that hunting for Jewel and any of the Rainbow High Series 4 dolls, I did not find a single Series 5 doll, again, in an hour radius in any direction from my house. So Amazon it was. Um, and then there is her barcode. Um, that wasn't quite straight on. There we go. I'm sorry it's dark. I know. Um, but... So these are the two girls, like I said. So we have our Series 4, Jewel Richie, and our Series 5, um, Victoria. Again, I think it's quite interesting that we um, had, like, all of Rainbow Vision and everything that had the Series 1 icon up there. And we were all like, why is it say Series 1? Are they going to do a Series 2 of these? Whatever, whatever. And then when they finally released the next, like, regular series, they removed the series number and just made everyone in both Rain Shadow High Series 2 and Rainbow High Series 5 a fashion major. So we don't know if it's like a special collection or something. Um, but also, why would you make the first collection without clothes, or a second outfit, I should say, the first collection without a second outfit, the, the fashion majors? Make them something else. <laughs> um, also, if you've watched my other videos, you know how I feel. I do think that the first outfits that they're giving us are absolutely amazing. And I think they're totally worth it, especially because they lowered the price back down a little bit. What I don't understand is why Shadow High was $25 and Rainbow High was $27 for basically the exact same thing. My best guess is just that um, because Rainbow High is essentially the flagship collection and they kind of feel that Rainbow High will sell no matter what and they kind of have to lower the price of Shadow High to get people to buy it, which to me, I don't think that's true because the Shadow High was almost as hard to find as the Rainbow High and right now they're both completely sold out. Um, I haven't been able to complete my Shadow High collection series one, but at least I got the three ones that I wanted the most, which was... Um, the two bookends and then Heather, which is in the middle. Um, so I don't have any of like the gray grayscale dolls, but I have the white and the black and white and the black doll. Um, just so I have the like, those were the three that I wanted the most. So I'm at least happy with that. Um, the only one that I'm not, ha that I have, well, no, that's a lie. Um, there's two dolls that I really want from this set that I haven't been able to get. I have now these three. Jewel was the one I wanted the most, and Jewel was the one I was originally going to buy when I was like, I'm just going to get one from the set. Um, but at the time, I wasn't able to get them as soon as they released. And the first one that I found on sale was Delilah. Um, this was still back when they were being 
like produced it was still in the middle of them but she was like on sale on amazon or something so i went and price matched her at target um but i hadn't been able to find anybody else on sale until i found mila mila for like nine dollars at target recently which is what started me hunting down and trying to find um these two again um if you guys know me i'm not a sporty collector so i don't really like the fashion on coco um if i found her for nine dollars i would absolutely get her but i'm not hunting for her where like i was for jewel where i was willing to pay whatever price as long as i found her um but yeah i haven't even seen these two on shelves in a while and the last time i did see her on a shelf um that was chaotic. I went in the store. I shouldn't even gone in the store because I literally had no money. Um, and then I saw her and she was like a few dollars cheaper, but not really. And I'm like, oh, she'll probably go like a little bit cheaper. Um, and then I realized I locked my keys in the car. And um, I was so stressed out from that that, yeah, um, I didn't get her. And um, I went back to that same Target literally like a few days later and she was gone her and mila but it's okay it is what it is um if i meant to have her i will find her um but yeah so here we're gonna go ahead we've looked at the back of the box a couple times now but i'll read it really quick rainbow high work creative students with style use glam grit love action and moxie to make their performance arts and fashion dreams come true and this is the last series that we got with all of the dolls on the back all together and you have this trim around the bottom and the rounded box design um with the new series they are a square box but they have all this extra artwork of the individual character which we'll also look at more when we open her up but then on the back it's only two dolls um i don't anticipating unless she goes really cheap getting olivia here because i'm just not a fan of this shade of green this shade of green is my favorite green this is not <laughs> um it says rainbow high doesn't follow trends we make them watch out shadow high in the world of fashion we always make the cut also so in the rainbow high series five and then the shadow high series two they were the cheaper price except for one for some reason diamante was randomly more expensive and then in this collection for some reason aiden is randomly more expensive which i do with which i would eventually like to get aiden somewhere down the line because i have the other two a's i have um avery and ainsley so i would eventually like to have him to complete the set i also just want them to release the boy that carries around the light i need him to go with my twins also i'm like the only person that loves holly apparently on the planet <laughs> i keep watching people's like collection videos and they're either complaining about holly or they're like yeah i was reducing my collection and i sold off just holly but i kept laurel and i'm like how can you split up the twins? Because I personally prefer Ho Holly over Laurel, but I would never, ever sell just Laurel. I couldn't do it. But also maybe that's because I'm a twin and I don't have the, like, I wasn't the closest with my twin growing up, but I'm a lot closer with her now. But like, I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed with twin packs. I also, for me, like my collection started, I would consider it with Heather Grayson but also like part of what convinced me to want to go out and collect Rainbow High was the Shadow High Storm Twins that I hunted everywhere and finally found. And actually, surprisingly, um, in my hunt to find these girls, I actually found a set of Shadow High Twins for $29. Um, so I now have a second set that I'm keeping in the box along with my um, second uh natasha zima that i found for eleven dollars that i'm keeping in the box um i'm not really an inbox collector and i don't typically collect doubles but like for prices like that i can't i just i just couldn't not yeah uh anyway i digress um uh, because heather is actually one of the only dolls that i've ever wanted to have a inbox and out of box um but i just haven't ever been able to find heather again because she's sold out and yeah Cool. Let's actually get these dolls open. Again, I apologized already for this. I knew this was going to take me a bit. Um, but yeah, let's let's start opening them up. 
Um, I usually cut now, so I probably will cut in a second, especially because I have two dolls to open up. But if you enjoy any of this content, I know it's a, a bit rambly, but I enjoy watching other people's rambly doll videos because I like to know what dolls mean to people um, and not just see the, the, um, the content of the dolls themselves. So if you are enjoying this at all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help you to find the channel in the future and it will help my channel a lot. Um, and it means a lot to me when I see you guys um, in the comments. Um... And yeah, I just really enjoy it and I hope that you are enjoying it as well. And I will see you all in a few minutes when I have these girlies out of the box. Um, and most likely I'm going to do, to make it a little bit shorter, I usually will grab a second uh, doll to put um, the second outfit of jewels on so that, that way um, everything's kind of already set out and we can just kind of take a quick look at everything without having to stop too much so all right I will be back momentarily and we'll see you then all right so I have the girlies out of their boxes and I have Natasha dressed up over here in the second outfit um I just love putting Natasha in the second outfits because she's basically a blank canvas so it works perfect with all the colors and then it makes it so that you can really see the outfit and before we move on, though, to actually looking at the dolls, I just want to look at her box really quick. So we have her really pretty um, extra line art in there. So this is a reflection or this line art that's on the outside of the box. Um, but then we also have, let's see if I can just, eh. we have these really cute poses that you can't see um, because right there is where the accessory panel is, so very cute. Um, I really like the new box designs. I think they did a really good job with them. Um, yeah, there those are. Um, I took out the accessories I wanted and I left the ones that I didn't want in there. Um, I love the phones. I think the phones should be standard with every doll. Um, again, unless I can get them really cheap. Um, if it does not come with a phone, I probably will not be getting it. Um, as long as they continue to do these, um, accessory packs rather than fashion packs um like from now on pretty much if it doesn't come with a phone then uh I probably will not be getting that one as my like first choice um especially as long as they continue to give us these accessory packs rather than um the fashion packs so her phone is I shoved in the case already, but it's like a light pink that matches her color scheme. And then she has a clear case with the RH and the hearts on it. And she is on uh, Instagram. Her picture's at the top. Right below it is a Priscilla picture. And then we have her, Kim, Priscilla, and forgive me, but I cannot remember her name right at the top of my head. But the orange dolls, um, like Instagram stories up there at the top. You can kind of see it. There we go. I've been watching all of everybody's videos except for the ones here about Victoria. So I should remember her name, but I just can't off the top of my head. It's okay. Um, she does come with hangers, which again, I find funny since now we're not getting second clothes. But here now we're getting hangers again. Um, and then her pink hairbrush. And of course that matches her pink stand. And then we have some other pink accessories. So this is the same mold that came with Jeff Dawson. So it is functional. If you spin this little knob, it pops up and down, which I thought was really cool with Jet. And I, again, as someone who sews, like I do like the idea of this accessory, but again, we're starting to repeat the accessories too often. And I would rather just not have these at all and get a little bit cheaper than spend more money on the same accessory over and over again. Um, and then we have a hair dryer, which again, I don't even have every single one of these dolls. I have one shadow high from series two i have one rainbow high from series five and then like i have one diva and of course i only have one jet so like i don't have every single doll and these are still repeat accessories for me um and then this mirror set which i'm glad we didn't get the little brushes to go with it um instead we got her cell phone but like i would have rather that been like a laptop or something um but yeah it's fine. Um, that's just my rant on these is I don't care for them, but I'm also not an accessories person. But even if we are going to get these, I'd like a little bit more variety. Um, 
cell phones, yes. Everything else, no. Um, and as somebody pointed out, they were like, well, if we're going to get accessories, let's at least get wearables. Hats, earrings, bracelets, something like that. Um, if we're not getting the second clothes, but you want to give us accessories, give us wearables, not these. Um, rant over on that. Now we're going to get into the actual point of this, which is the dolls. Um, the, this is from, uh, Jewel over here because you can see the bows on her shoes. So it kind of shows you how to tie them. Um, and then she comes with a green hairbrush and a green stand. Her hair is rock hard and it's almost like curled over too like it's supposed to be much longer than it is because of this gel it's literally like why did they make it look like she had this like short hair when she doesn't um also the ponytail up here is like I'm gonna have to redo it because it's like all like fray-y and I'm not even sure if this is how it's supposed to be on there correctly but yeah her hair um gorgeous color a lot of styling going on which is nice um but this, this is very, very, very too much. Um, I am definitely one of those people that understands why they gel the hair. Um, I do think that, you know, box presentation is important. But when your box presentation is literally presenting the doll with a different hairstyle than it has, I don't, I don't understand it. Um, and usually I'm able to just brush out the gel in their hair. But this definitely is not, not going to brush out. This is this is solid. Um, this little piece here is the only thing that's not gelled to heck and back. And it is very soft, um, as usual, because they do have the, uh, the nylon hair. Um, and it honestly, sometimes in the package, when they split the hairs like this, it gets like this really big bald spot in the back. There is a little bit of it like right here, if you can kind of see it, I know it's dark. Um, but it's not as terrible as some of the other dolls that I have. Ooh, her hair's stuck there. Of course, again, Victoria does have gel, but it's in really pretty much just the ringlets at the end um, to keep the ringlets. Like this part up here doesn't have any gel, but the rings do. And honestly, like I kind of want to keep it that way so that her ringlets stay really nice because those are so pretty. And I know I, I'm not a hairstylist. I would not be able to get those back. Um, she actually has kind of, they kind of have a similar hairstyle with the braided into the half up, half down. Um, but it definitely, um, box presentation wise looks better on, uh, Victoria here. Um, they did, they did my poor girl jewel, uh, dirty. So, so purse, no, Victoria, <laughs> um, has these earrings up here that are flowers. There are this little... like almost like shun sunshine stud up here at the top with like a pearl center and the gold trim and then these little upside down flowers with some like gold and white pearls hanging down below it um someone actually pointed out and i'm very impressed is that um priscilla does not have any rainbow high branding on her like at all and i'm noticing now that i don't think jewel does either which is um, I'm not entirely against it, but I hate when it's like super overused and like everything is just RH, 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 RH. Um, like, but both of these girls actually have a very, um, neutral design to them, which is really nice. So that's Priscilla's earrings. Jewel's earrings are these, um, teardrop shaped emeralds with the pearls around them and a pearl stud at the top absolutely love these um that gold lining is really pretty actually it makes the the green stand out really nice so those are her earrings and then let's go ahead my stupid broken stand that's held together with rubber bands doesn't want to be held together with rubber bands anymore sorry all right I did warn you. <laughs> okay, so she has um, like half eyebrows. Um, Jewel has technically has full eyebrows. However, she does have this little patch of Violet Lego right here. Um, again, because of that being so hard to find, I was a little concerned about that patch at first. I did not know that that was intentional or not, but I did look it up and that is how it's supposed to look. Um, then 
she has these deep green emerald colored eyes and Priscilla has kind of a blue green eyes which at least they're not purple um and then her eyeshadow is just kind of like a brownish color it's very simple but very effective and very pretty a little bit of pink eyeliner underneath and a black graphic liner around the top um she actually has like golden brown eyelashes which I don't think we've had that before I think we've had black and white but I don't think we've had this like brown ish that matches her hair uh low lights and then uh Jewel has these green eyeshadow with a little bit of a smoky black out and then green under eye and then she has um, sparkles in the tear ducts and she has black rooted eyelashes over her green eyes. Um, she has her vitiligo over her face as well as this little heart up here and um, her baby hairs whereas Priscilla has freckles all over her face. Um, Apparently all the Priscilla's freckles are different. So each Priscilla is going to be unique. Um, like for instance, like mine has this really dark one right under her eye, um, but not everyone's is gonna have that same dark one in that same spot, which is kind of cool. Um, she also has this really pretty, like super light blushing on her cheeks and kind of like around her skin. Um, she does have some blushing as well. Um, it's going to be much darker, but it also she has a much darker skin, so the darker blushing makes more sense. Um, she has almost burgundy lips, which um, if you guys know, I love burgundy lips, so I absolutely love this lip color on her. So pretty. Um, mine, I just noticed, is a little blendy, and like, but that's, that's fine. I'm not going to notice it except for when I'm this close up to her face. Um, and then Priscilla has this like light pink with a little... Um, little bit of red to kind of plump it up her lips look very full and very moist I really I like the lip how the lips look on her um and then they both have very unique bodies because she has the vitiligo all over um and Priscilla has literally full body freckling all the way down to her toes and her hands um which she that's kind of why she was like my first choice um I really really liked Priscilla I really like that neon pink um but when I showed the picture of all of them to my husband um he was like you know you want you know you want Victoria because you like unique body types and like unique features like the full body freckling um and I was like yeah you're right <laughs> um let's see for outfits for her first outfit let's go with yeah, let's go with Jewel's first outfit so we can kind of go back and forth. Um, so she has a little choker with a green jewel hanging from it. She does have this green stole, which has rubber bands underneath to kind of keep it in place, which is really cute. Um, and then it has these ribbon shoulders. Hmm. Her, her skin is very red right there. Interesting. I wonder if that's like a bleeding from the green into the like peachy white it kind of turned it red interesting um not a big deal uh then she has her mini dress on and this is um yeah oh she's gonna if i've ever seen one um and i don't mean that in a bad way um i've been watching a lot of angel loza so um yeah she's quite hoochie <laughs> but i love it i love this high low um so pretty I don't mind it like this short of a skirt I mind on like my junior highs because they don't come with stands so the best way to describe these um is basically like I have to have them sitting and anytime she's sitting like I can see everything um because she has a stand and she's standing up I I don't really mind as much um I actually do like the high low I think it's really pretty especially because it is lined in the back so you have that green fabric coming out and she has the sequence dress I do think it would be nicer if it was just maybe like this much longer so like you weren't like literally about to see her uh crotch at all times but again it's not as big of a deal as it was like on my junior highs she does have some bracelets so she has uh, gold bracelets with this like emerald in it and she does have emerald nail polish now I'm pretty sure the yeah you can see it in, in her nails too 
like the printing on this hand I'm pretty sure is wrong with the vitiligo um, but the hand was better to be off printed than the hairline um, but I did just notice like all of the nails are also off printed huh I might I might contact MGA and see what they say on that one because um, her hand was turned like this in the package so I couldn't see that um this hand is much better printed she does have even more bracelets on this side though so she has some gold and white um with also the emeralds embedded into the bracelets and then she has these shoes that are these lace-up shoes with the r and h so she does have she does have an R and H on there, but they're very subtle. They're very small on the shoes, and I like it like that. Um, where she does have the branding, but it's not like the entire design. It's just a little subtle nod in there. Very pretty. Um, I know once I untie those, they will not look like that ever again, so please enjoy them while they are tied. <laughs> now, Priscilla's... So that's her first outfit, but keep in mind she does also come with a second outfit. Um, while Priscilla's outfit, she only comes with the one and then the accessories. So she has this like super cute ruffly top um, with this like piece underneath um, to kind of like hold it down, kind of like a little bralette area. Um, these are actually like embroidered flowers on here. I wish I would focus on it. And then like each of these petals is like an extra layer of fabric on top and then there's the pearl beads holding it on very pretty very very pretty it goes all the way around the back her top has this like interesting string up here that is like around the back of her neck and it's also like on covers the shoulders and it actually like goes through the fabric up here at the top um, as far as I'm aware, this is all one string, um, but the shoulder piece is maybe a separate string. But either way, it's like really, really pretty. Again, it probably will not look as good if it gets taken off and then put back on, but you know, so enjoy it while you can. Um, the, it is a crop top with a low rise skirt. So there is this belly moment in the middle, which is super cute. Um, and then she has the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five layers of fabric here with the pearls on every other layer um very very pretty it's all attached to this like little silk mini skirt underneath and it does have this nice uh, piece here so that it doesn't ride up and then she has her big chunky heels which i love these these are so cute. I love the baby pink at the bottom and then this kind of like peachy pink up at the top. Um, like to me, Georgia Bloom is, I would consider like an orange peachy color. Um, whereas Victoria here is like a pink peachy color, um, in my opinion. So, oh, one of the things I really want to point out about her though, the light is totally washing it out. It's so subtle, it's really hard to see, uh, again, because it's kind of like, but do you see this? Um, she has blushing at her knees. Like, she literally has body blushing at her knees. How freaking adorable! I, I love that. Yeah, I just, I, I love this so much. Um, and then, I don't think I pointed out her hair blend, but it's this, like, strawberry blonde where it has like these pinky highlights in it but it's mostly like this like blonde color um I think I must have been because I didn't watch any videos particularly about her but I must have been watching like a ranking video I think of of angels um I think that's where I'm getting a lot of the stuff that I'm like oh yeah somebody said this whatever um but what he kind of said was like she looks like a real person um, especially because of like having the like she has like a more natural colored hair she doesn't have the super high like rainbow high branding on her um and then she has like these like freckles everywhere like she looks like a uh like a normal person um if it weren't for like the sculpting for the head where it's like the much bigger like you would think that this was not like you wouldn't know this was necessarily like a rainbow high doll um in the best way possible there's her nails 
because of them being such a light color, they kind of don't look painted, but they are. Um, they're the light peach that matches. But again, you can see the freckles all the way up and down her arms, all the way across her belly. Oh, so gorgeous. I adore this doll. All right, let me turn my light back on. And then here is the last thing we're gonna look at, which is Jewel's second outfit. So her second outfit includes a jacket, a crop top, and a mini skirt, and a pair of heels. So the jacket has this like super cute green stole on it. Um, this one is attached. Um, and then it has these gold uh, details all the way down it, which these are like actually on there. Like I can rub my finger over them and they have texture. Um, and then we have the gold plated zippers that do not actually function, but look like zippers on the wrists. You have that on both sides. The gold plating is on both sides. And then the jacket is like a pleather, um, a black pleather. And then the um, outfits almost kind of like a, like a alligator skin is the best way I could like describe it or like a snake skin type pattern where it has these like almost like scales on the skirt. Uh, the top seems to just be a solid pleather, but it's like a little bralette top. And then she has this bottom with um, a, tied, a tie there, but it is a fake tie, which is fine. It elastics, or Velcros in the back. There we go. The scale detail goes all the way around. And then she has these little lace peekaboos on the side, which I think are really cute. Um, the shoes did fall off, but um, these actually probably will stay on better than some shoes that I have because they do at least have the strap that you can kind of pull up over the heel, but they probably will stay on best, obviously, with the rubber bands on. Um, she has this green shoes with black bottoms and a clear toe. They are quite simple, um, but they're also very pretty. Very cute. So overall, I just love both of these girls. Um, I still really like having the second outfit um, over the plastic accessories, but at the same time, I also love all of the love and soul and heart that goes into these first outfits. Not saying that there isn't in the first outfits here, um, but I definitely do think that they kind of took the quality of the two outfits and like just absolutely poured it into one. And so I think that like we're still getting amazing, amazing things um, out of Rainbow and Shadow High and I will continue to support them as of right now as best I can. Of course, again, only being able to get one, maybe two dolls at a time. Um, but that's more a me thing and not because they're not worth it, but I think that they are absolutely stunning and amazing, and I recommend both of these dolls if you can find them. Um, Priscilla will be a little bit easier to find than Jewel, um, but for how long? Probably, like, maybe six months, um, because that seems to be how often they're replacing them, is they're kind of clearancing out and replacing every six months, um, I guess so that they kind of last for one like holiday season so probably these will probably go until around Christmas time um well no because that's not so I guess these are these are the spring summer ones and then we'll get another collection maybe in the fall winter time um but yeah I'm really excited for the junior highs that are coming out um because I really want my junior high holly um, again, I'm like the only, apparently like the only ho Holly apologist that I know. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I digress. Um, I love them. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Um, let me know what you think of these new girls down in the comments down below. I can't wait to see them in my future content. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys in my future content and we will see you all very soon. Again, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye.